Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. We are here in China for the race. So, uh, we are currently, I believe, second place in the standings. If we go check, I believe as a team that we are second. No, oh, we have fallen to fourth, apparently. All right, we were second place and then we had, you know, then there were incidents. Uh, anyway, though, we are here in China, we're gonna get right down to it because we don't want to take too much time because this might take a while. So, uh, let's see who has to. He is locked on to the Ultra Sauce as he qualified properly and made it through to Q3. Magnuson, however, did not. So, Magnuson is going to run the hard tires and uh, the racing trim. And then Roman here is going to run the Ultra Softs and the racing trim. So this is, how many laps is this race? I have no idea. Uh, we're just gonna leave their setups the same cause you know, uh, messing with it now doesn't seem to make much sense. Um, but if I go into, well, let me just click change setup. Um, so it's a 64 lap race. Uh, the tires are expected to last 15 to 17 laps. These have pretty pretty serious degradation as it is honestly um i probably should have gone in on magnuson but anyway we're gonna run yeah we're gonna run this i forgot we were supposed to change his tires so good thing i you know good thing i decided to pay attention uh he is going to run the hard compound tire it's expected to last about 50 laps so after that he'll swap on to the ultra softs and um yeah i mean he probably should have done this on the soft tires and then on the ultras but we're too far gone for that at this point so uh hard tires it is and we'll just we'll be able to push at the end with the with the ultras okay oh well, let's get into it without wasting any more time because lord knows this is already gonna take uh some time so let's uh get right into it zoom out a little bit and we are gone and off here in china we are going to follow our boy grojan here at the start because well he's in front uh but magnuson is making up some positions and catching our boy grojan here um if magnuson can just get past who is this signs if, if magnuson is past signs and now they are lined up Good, clean racing between teammates. I like it. Yeah, except last fucking time, the two of you nitwits crashed into each other and ruined everyone's day. So why don't we not fucking race each other right now? Why don't we just somebody get the fuck past the other one and get the fuck as far away from each other as possible? <laughs> like, that's my opinion on the matter. And uh, team orders in this game only lets me tell you to let someone go past. It doesn't tell me, like, I can't tell you to like get the fuck away from each other. So I won't. But just know that in my heart of hearts, that's what I'm saying. Get the fuck away from each other, you two nitwits. <laughs> Honestly, um, we're going to have him push because his tires are getting fucking cold. And his tires are getting fucking cold. So both guys need to um, put a little bit of temperature into those wheels here. Because I can imagine us falling back to like three millionth position if I... Don't pay attention. It's one of those things I forget to, like, pay attention. Magnuson just overtook Lewis Hamilton. We are better than Mercedes again. Okay. It's not like that, but, like, it's kind of like that. Like, how the fuck? Why is Hamilton down here? What, what the fuck did happen to my boy? And by my boy, I mean just him. Because I'm not really... Oh, what the? Safety car? Who, who the fuck... Who crashed? Who died? Who died? Who who done? Who done dead? Um, should we pit him? Like we'll lose a lot of positions. Uh, action. Let's see. That would give me. Uh. If I pit him, we're estimated to come out 23rd. We can't pit him. No. No, no one's pitting.
No one's pitting. All right, let's just skip through the safety lap. Dum dum dum. We're probably gonna go to two times speed now. Uh, oops. All right, it's in at the end of this lap. Man, these are slow laps. All right, and coming up to the chicane, and we are a go. Go, go, go. Use up your extra fuel. Let's uh, hop back on board with Grosjean up here near the front. Front of the pack. Trying, trying, trying to get past anyone. Uh, we're going to have a problem because everyone's tires ahead of us are in much better condition as well as those directly behind us. So that's probably not going to bode very well for us as we uh, come into our our pit stop here. Um, I'm just going to go faster right now because there's, there's not much to see here. Um, at this point, we're, we're kind of waiting for, for the next thing to happen, I guess. Cause Magnuson's not exactly close to the car in front. Um, Grosjean also not exactly close to the car in front of him. Uh, Grosjean is having to fight off, uh, Lewis Hamilton from behind. So that's, uh, going to be interesting cause I mean, we're going to get overtaken because we're going to have to pit first. And we're probably going to get overtaken because I can't imagine that we don't. Um, although, Lewis is being pressured from behind as well. So, perhaps Verstappen can can be annoying or something. I don't know. Maybe they can just kill each other. Maybe they both just crash and then I don't have to deal with either of them. That, w that would be ideal, truly. Uh, Ricardo has suffered a lockup. Oh, no. Where is Ricardo? 13th. Not exactly near us. I don't know how Magnuson, like, climbed. He was, like, 15th. I don't know how he got up here, honestly. <laughs> I don't really... Like, all the hard tires are down here, and then he just, like, hopped way high. So, um, that could bode well for him. Uh, Grosjean, I think, could be in some trouble here, but we'll see. We'll see. Um... The real problem at this point is just he, he doesn't have he doesn't have a real gap between the cars behind him and the gap in front of him just keeps getting larger and larger and larger. So I'm putting him into overtake hoping that like he can separate, but I it doesn't it doesn't look promising. Um and his pit stops coming Sooner rather than later, presumably. Um, does it say how much tire wear? It doesn't say. Because on the on the mobile game, it tells you like it's ten percent per lap or something for a certain usage. Because um, we're we're down we're down under thirty percent, so he's he's gonna have to come in. So, and let's just uh, accelerate through this lap and get to the next exciting moment, which is going to be the pit stop. Uh, I'm going to let him go one more time around. So, we will pit next lap here. So, I'm going to call him in here at lap 13. Uh, it's a little, a little early. But... The hard compound should be just enough to get done. Um, so we're going to swap him on. Swap him onto the hards. Uh, his parts are doing okay. And yeah. So we're going to swap him there. And he's going to go on the hard compound. And he's going to. He's going to hopefully finish the race on that. So it. You know. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. I, I'm hoping that we can get like two top tens. I like just be in the top ten, get points. Uh, I think that that's plausible at the moment. Plausible. Um, I wish that safety card come a little later, but 
uh, George Russell has crashed. So is this going to be a safety car? No. Okay. I don't, I don't know why that wouldn't be a safety car. Dude crashed and is in a wall, but, uh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder what tires these guys are going to go on to. I would think they're going to try to go for the softs, but I don't know if they can get the tires to last that long. Like, I'm not, I'm not positive. Grosjean is just, he mauls his tires, man. He mauls them. Dude is a fucking badger. <laughs> He's just like, he is fucking all up in his tires shit. Uh, we are going to hop over here to Kevin, who is all by himself. Um, so I guess we're not going to hop in with him because he's boring as hell. Grosjean here uh, is up into 10th. Um, ahead of him still to pit is Alonzo, uh, Gasly, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, uh, Leclerc, Vettel. Uh, everyone should be pitting right now, so... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what, if any, positions we jump. We jumped Gasly. Uh, we did not jump anyone else, but no one else... No one else pitted who's within range of us yet. Um, like, we couldn't... We're not going to catch... Uh, like, Hulkenberg or any... Or, I mean, um, Vettel, Leclerc, Hulkenberg... Like, we weren't going to catch that group in the pits anyway, so... I can't... I can't say I'm disappointed, I guess. It is it is what it is. Um, we're going to let him go to high. And see what he can do. Um, everyone seems to be doing a different strategy. Verstappen went for the softs, but Hulkenberg and Hamilton both went for another set of ultras. And I think they're going to have to pit again. I think. Because I think... I don't think those will last 40 laps, so... Um, uh, unless Lewis Hamilton's just driver skill is just... Enough to make that happen? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe, maybe... Maybe he's just that good. I mean... Who knows? Magnussen is up into fourth place right now. Uh, still to pit at some point. We're thinking he's gonna pit in about 25 more laps. So he's about halfway through this set. Uh, so he's... He's in a pretty good spot, um, especially if they all have to pit again, uh, then that shouldn't be too bad for him. If, if they don't pit again, then that could be a problem. And I, I don't like Vettel might not have to pit again. Um, I don't know how much conserve tires like does for you in the game. Like, I don't know, like how far can Vettel drag that set of tires? But he is he is significantly enough ahead that like. The only person who could probably pass him is Leclerc. And I don't know how much the game realizes that they're teammates, but... In theory, Ferrari shouldn't give a shit whether Leclerc or Vettel is second or third at this point in the season. Um, it wouldn't have much to do with the driver standings, and it's all the same to the, to the team standings. So, I would think that they'd be okay... But he, nah, he looks like he's gonna have to pit. I don't think he can. I don't. I don't. No matter what, I don't think he can make those last. Um, we're gonna let Magnuson drive pretty hard here. We can't really push any harder because then we'll overheat the tires, which will make this degradation worse. But we're gonna let him drive as fast as he can. Um, at least using up the the high fuel mode. Uh, to try and get him a little bit more clear of the car behind. Uh, it seems like Hulkenberg is right on pace with him. Um, once he goes past the chicane again, I'm going to call him to the pits. So he shouldn't be able to uh, affect me now. So let's see. 20, 22 laps will get us... Um, those won't get us to the end? Really? 20? It would be like he would... Uh, he'd be... He's a couple laps short. Um, but like, we don't want to go on those. Alright, I think we're going to have to push... We're going to have to... Hold on. We're going to have to ask him to... 
conserve the tires a little bit here and try to get a couple more laps out of this set of hards. I think that's what has to happen. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully... Hopefully that's okay. Uh, let me just slow this down. I'm trying to watch the gap behind to make sure that we're not doing anything ridiculous. But Hamilton and Mag should go in pretty soon here. Um, do I call him in here? Because here would be the exact amount of laps. Uh, we're going to call him in here. We're going to call him in and we're going to go to our ultras. And we are going to go balanced, I guess. Yeah, call him in. Uh, I'm worried about that front wing. And I'm worried about the rear wing. But we don't have time. So it doesn't really matter how I feel. Because <laughs> we don't really have time. Uh, Grosjean right now is 43% with about 20% of the race left to go, or 30% of the race left to go, so we hopefully is okay. Um, Magnuson did drop two positions there, but both guys in front have to pit, um, although he is, um, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit off, so that's interesting to say the least um oh he's not supposed to be conserving his tires anymore though that's for sure um go to push to get temperature into the tire and then i'm gonna let him go to high engine mode he's a magnuson's about to come off of high engine mode we've overtaken hamilton in the pit lane so that's good uh for stappen i think think is gonna be able to finish he has to be able to finish the race if he doesn't if he's not able to finish the race on those softs then he's i mean what's he gonna be pitting at like <laughs> lap 59 like i don't i don't see where he could pit that would make any sense honestly um magnuson's in trouble here a little bit uh he managed to somehow wiggle his way out of that but i'm gonna give him overtake i know it's gonna drain some fuel but he, he has to he has to at least only be with Hamilton right now he was like in a three way duel and that wasn't good um okay so let's go check on Grosjean Grosjean is all by himself kind of back here um uh, the car in front is in 22nd place so he's not even racing the car ahead um, he's pretty much just, I am hoping, just driving to the end at this point. Although his tire is, is wearing more than one would hope, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to ask him to conserve tires because I don't, I don't think that Gasly is a threat here. So if he can just conserve his tires and get them to the end, I think that would be best. Because I, I really don't want to have to pit him again. Um, although, is there... Where can I see... Um... Like, if I call him in now... Let's see. If I call him in... He'd be expected to be in the same spot, and 22 laps would put us... I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna get him in. I'm gonna bring him in, and I'm gonna swap this. Uh, what? Oh, God, that would be not. We're not going to fix that. We're just going to wing it. We're going to bring him in again. Um, and the car behind him's in 22nd place or whatever. I'll just let him tear through these tires real quick. Oh, this is overheating. Fuck me. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, shit. That might be bad for Magnuson. <laughs> Because, uh, I wasn't sure he was going to make it to the end anyway. Although he's, I think he's better about his tires than Grosjean is, at least. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Grosjean. Get out of the pits. 
And you are not going to be torching your tires. I'm going to pay attention to you. This is a problem because he can't... Magnuson can't slow down or Hamilton will pass him. But Magnuson is ripping through his tires right now. Like ripping. Because he, it's they're overheated. But like... I, I don't think there's anything I can do. Other than to just... Let him go until it, it gets to a low percentage and then try to fucking tell him to conserve. Because if I tell him to conserve now, he's just going to get overtaken. Like, no doubt. So, there isn't really much I could do to help him. I, I made a mistake and wasn't paying attention to how bad he was overheating the tires. Uh, I was too busy trying to figure out if Grosjean should pit or not. Which, I mean, he should have, yes. I think that was the correct call, but... At the same time, uh, fuck. Uh, but he has 50% of the tires left, and we... Uh, that's not enough, I don't think, because there are 22 lap tires, and we've got 14 laps to go. All the signs has crashed. Can we get... Can can we... Please? That's the second crash in that same spot. Can we get a fucking no safety car again, man? What... What, what is... What is this? What is this crash business that doesn't involve safety cars? Oh, his tires are so bad. I think we're just going to have to pit him and concede the place. If I pit him, what would happen? Um... Just do it and we'll push. Fuck. Didn't really want to have to do this, but he's not going to make it. Ah, man. Screwed that up. Screwed that up pretty good. Verstappen did pit again. Which is interesting. Alright, well, it looks like a 7th and 8th place finish. Uh, well, unless Grosjean's car blows up, because, you know, why not? Why the fuck not? Um, Magnuson, stop overheating your tires, dude. You were just a maniac. You were a maniac out here. I let you push for like one second, and every time you're like fucking about to cook through your shit. Fuck. <laughs> Stop. What did we start this race in? We started like 8th and 15th. So like a 7th and an 8th is not, not too bad. And the cars above us, the only one I wanted to be in front of would have been Hulkenberg. Like we should be able to beat him. But and we would have if we didn't mismanage. Uh, Come on, blue flag. Let him go. Ah, damn. Fuck. All right. Um, when we get down a little closer, I will let... Magnuson's not going to make a big gap to the f car in front, honestly. So, like, I probably shouldn't ask him to do anything more than to just drive home. As if I ask him to, like, attack or something and he fucking drives it off the road, I'm going to be very annoyed with him. <laughs> if I'm honest, like, I'll be pretty upset. Uh, Hulkenberg is on the softs, but, like, I don't think there's enough time. Like, his tires aren't going to degrade enough. Uh, I don't think the speed difference between soft and ultra soft is enough to make up a gap like that. I mean, he's like, he's already around the next turn before I, you know, I don't see how we can make up this gap, but I don't know, uh, this whole, it's not, not a bad performance as a team. Um, it's just, uh, we could have, we could have been better. It would have been like two places better. I don't really know what the difference in points is between fifth and seventh. Um, not exactly positive how how much of a how much of a difference that really is. Um, it's probably not enough to really be sweating over it. Uh, uh, although, you know, obviously better is better, but it's probably not enough to really care. Uh, Hamilton's tires are getting. 
aren't getting worn though. Maybe Verstappen will try to like overtake him and they'll crash. Maybe, maybe that'll happen. Maybe we can pray that Verstappen gets a little aggressive on Hamilton while he's conserving some tires. And maybe, just maybe. Oh no. Uh, yeah, but you're gonna have to just shut the fuck up and get home with this, this here vehicle. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, bud. Your car is falling apart and I see that, but I do think that you have enough of a gap that, uh, you know, just, uh, don't, don't, uh, fuck it up. Don't, don't fuck it up, bud. You got four laps to go. Four laps. And it's just your wings. Just uh, don't let them fall off your car. And uh, everything should be quite alright. Uh, I don't know why Magnuson's form has gone down so much and Grosjean's gone up. But uh, those were like exact opposites like a few minutes ago. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much... I'm going to ask... Magnuson to push or actually go to attack mode even this might be a terrible choice I understand you can't you don't know how to you don't know how to go to attack mode bud well that's promising final lap Come on, he's right there, buddy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Go. Go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Fuck. Come on. Oh, wait. Is it still one more? I don't... Why did it say final lap then? Uh, uh, oh, because the first car passed the line. Get up. Get up. No. No. <laughs> so close. At least fucking Grosjean's car didn't blow up. Because I was pretty sure that was probably going to happen because that likes to happen to me. So I was pretty much expecting that, to be honest. Um, but seventh and eighth place, uh, which, where do we start? Um, like fifth and 15th or where did we start? Uh, let's see. The beginning we were. Oh, this is tire history. Where's. Um, position tracker, I guess. We started... Where are you, fucker? Grosjean was 10th, and Magnus was 15th. So 10th and 15th, we moved up to 7th and 8th. I mean, that's that's pretty good, I think. That's not bad. As far as the standings go, that drops Grosjean two spots. Magnus remains in his spot. Uh, but as far as the team standings go, Haas has now jumped over Renault. So we were up a point on them. Uh, we are significantly behind Mercedes and Ferrari. But like, you know, what What did you expect? Um, we're currently 12 points up on Red Bull, uh, which is interesting. Red Bull's doing a lot worse than you would think. But uh, the game probably underestimates their engine or something. Uh, obviously we did not cheat as we have a risk of rule break none and I believe that that is just about going to do it for so six and four points if we had been fifth we would have had 12 so actually significant we, we lost half the points um, by, by overheating the tires but uh, oh well what you gonna do right not much you can do we're 61 points off the lead in the team championship standings uh, yeah, there was a, it was crash heavy, but not really. It was two people hit the same wall. <laughs> they missed the exact same turn at the exact same moment. Uh, anyways, though, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Motorsport Manager. Uh, Team Haas is doing okay. Um, next episode, we'll do the interweek uh, car upgrades and that sort of stuff. In addition to uh, getting the qualifying and practice stuff done for the next race. Uh, both of them got the top 10 result trait, which gives them plus six marketability for one week. Morale is okay. Improvement is okay. Everything is going pretty okay. Uh, we made a million dollars. Mr. Haas is quite happy with this outcome. 
And uh, overall, I think we are rather satisfied with where we are at at the end of this week. Our gearbox has been built, so that'll be interesting to check out next time. Other than that, though, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all later.